Hello, welcome to our online fertility awareness program, You and Your Fertility. This is our 20 Steps to Pregnancy series. Today we are at episode 12. This week we'll be talking about the importance of relaxation for fertility. Importance of relaxation for improved fertility. Last week we talked about stress, what stressors can be, what areas of stress can impact negatively on fertility, and then how to avoid stress. One of the things we talked about that last week was the ability to relax. So today we are expanding on that aspect of relaxation for fertility. I know that it can be pretty annoying when someone is trying to conceive and then people keep telling you just relax, it will happen when it will happen. Just calm down, maybe you are stressed. Really, I know it can be very frustrating, but is there actual truth when people tell you to relax for fertility? The answer actually is yes. It has been scientifically proven, like we mentioned last week, that stress directly impacts negatively on fertility. This is because during stress, high levels of the cortisol hormone is released in the body. This is now pure science. And that cortisol hormone can shut down other reproductive hormones in the system, in the body, hormones like estrogen, luteinizing hormone and the rest of them. So the, the, the impact of stress on fertility actually reduces you know, fertility health, reduces um, fertility processes like ovulation, disrupting menstrual cycle and all of that. So it becomes imperative that someone understands, someone who is trying to conceive, understands the significance and importance of relaxation for improved fertility health. So when you relax, the tendency of the hormones to balance out, the tendency of the sleep-wake cycle pattern to allow the body to function properly is improved and naturally the body just begins to function the way it is supposed to function that is just how important it is to understand the negative impact of stress it prevents your body from functioning properly <clears throat> now when you are relaxing or when you are in a relaxed state or a better relaxed state the body functions and if you are able to understand that it will not be too difficult to intentionally do your best to keep yourself in a relaxed mood as much as possible. Now things that to bring you stress will always be available like we have said, but you must be intentional about relaxation. You must be intentional, you must do your best to get yourself into a relaxed mood as often as is possible. Now what are the things that can help you relax? when you are on your fertility journey. Remember there are so many things flying in your head, treatment patterns, cost of fertility treatment, everything. How can you, in the midst of all of that craziness, actually relax? There are four tips I'm going to give, share today that can actually help. The first is group therapy. Group therapy is one of the ways where you can actually really relax on your fertility journey. This is because you are in the midst of people who understand what you're going through, who are actually going through their own journey have their own experiences to share, you learn, it's kind of onboarding to you. You have a place to pour out your heart with the knowledge that these people that you're talking to actually understand what you're saying, understand what you're going through. You hear their own experiences, it's real life, you can relate. That automatically just helps you to feel better, helps you to know that you're trying your best, you're doing all you can, and if there isn't if there are things that you're not doing right, you can also learn. It just keeps you on the positive outlook where you see people who are also deprived, in quotes, and we all pull each other up, strengthen each other with words of encouragement and with actual sensible um, words that will make an impact or meaning to you. So group therapy is all too important. And that is why we have our support group meeting, support group meetings in, at Love Foundation where we host people on their fertility journey and just share experiences so that is by the way now the second thing you can do to relax is to sleep properly you cannot overemphasize the importance of sleep sleeping for up to seven to eight hours can actually do a big 
or play a big role in improving your fertility health. The sleep-wake pattern in the body, what we call the circadian rhythm, can help to regulate the metabolic process of fertility, help to balance out hormones, and help the body to function properly. When there is deprivation of sleep, it causes disruption of the menstrual cycle, um, inhibition of some certain hormones because of the stress of sleeping, and then sleeping for up to seven to eight hours every night can actually play a big role in improving fertility health. We have tried to explain what sleep does, it helps to improve the circadian rhythm and metabolic function. In this case, with respect to fertility, balance out hormones and keep the body functioning properly. What sleep deprivation can do is mess up the menstrual cycle and it can actually cause a reduction in the quality of the eggs that the woman produces, in the quality of the sperm cells that the man produces as well. This is because when the hormones are disrupted, their function in actually generating or improving during eggs during the maturation process is also limited, it's also hindered or tampered with, thereby even producing low quality eggs, low quality sperm cells. So sleep is the most vital thing that you can do for yourself when you are on your fertility journey. All the treatments you are taking, all the drugs, supplements, everything you might be doing will be improved by you're taking all the drugs and supplements and everything will have their effects heightened when you actually add proper sleep to your treatment regimen. So we've talked about good therapy, we've talked about proper sleep. The next thing we'll talk about is meditation. Meditation is also one of the things that can help you to relax. Just sitting down, maybe going through the process in your mind. And when you're practicing relaxation for fertility, what is very vital that you need to do is to speak positive words, is to tell yourself positive things. Yes, the thoughts will always be there where you are, what you haven't achieved and everything. But take time to relax in form of meditation and remind yourself of all that you have achieved, all the improvements you have made, how far you have come on this journey, where you are at the moment, where you were coming from. Remind yourself of all those things that you have been able to do and then speak positive words to yourself because words are powerful. And psychologically, the more you affirm yourself, affirm your process, and affirm your destination, keep telling yourself that you're going to get there, you'll be a parent, your body will conceive, you will have your own children. When you continue to do that, you're actually psyching your body into believing you, and the body aligns with that thought process and works towards achieving that. Believe it or not. Meditation is another very key thing that you can do during your fertility journey or during when you're on the fertility process, whatever treatment you might be going through or undergoing. Affirmations, positive affirmations during meditation can actually, actually really help you to improve. One of the things that you can add during meditation is taking deep breaths. As simple as that. Deep breathing. Deep breathing is another thing that can really, really help you to relax. It helps to re regulate your heart rate, you know, and drives down the anxiety or stress levels. As a matter of fact, people who have like some anxiety issues, maybe stage fright or you know, fear of public or any kind of fear, one of the treatments for it is this deep breathing. If you can take deep breaths, hold your breath for 10 seconds and release. Take deep breaths, hold it for 10 seconds and release. That actually helps to regulate heart rate, drops down, it causes what we call bradycardia. So it drops down high heart rate when your heart is beating too fast. If you practice this, it helps you to relax. So if you get into any tense situation, even when you're not meditating, something provokes you, something annoys you, you can practice deep breathing. It will automatically make you relax. It will release endorphins that will force your body to relax that is one of the tricks or hacks for for controlling anxiety or stressful situation deep breath take a very deep breath hold for about 10, 10 seconds and then release the breath if you do that for up to 10 times 
or more if you can you find out that your body automatically relaxes so you can practice it on its own <clears throat> maybe when you face your face with maybe a, a stressful situation somebody provokes you say something annoying to you say something that just triggers you you can practice that deep breathing relaxation or you can do it while you are meditating and it just helps you focus on we'll call it yoga and add some other exercises and you can do yoga whatever you can do to help you relax is very very vital to improving your fertility health we'll be stopping here today we hope this video has been useful please share and learn to teach others follow us on our social media handles instagram at love underscore foundation underscore youtube at love underscore foundation watch more of our videos like follow share thank you for staying with us see you next week stay safe